And I know you're probably wondering, like, what happened to Omi and the Hellcat? Well, apparently, allegedly, not allegedly, because he said it himself, but the feds ran up in his driveway, looked at all those Bentleys and Lamborghinis, and was like, get over here! DJ Ban Ban Bandana! Hey, yo, what's good? It's DJ Bandana Black, Mr. Well Connected, even more respect. Matter of fact, forget all that. Before we get into the intro of this video, um, I just want to say that this is a serious uh, situation, even though, you know, I start off every video with somewhat of a uh, comedy or somewhat of a, a, a funny little catchphrase, whatever, in the beginning. And for those of you guys who watch uh, Omi and the Hellcat, you know that that whole get over here thing was the thing that he does on his channel. So I just want to say this up front. I definitely, I love Omi and the Hellcat uh, channel. Um, honestly, I feel bad for him and I want to do what I can do on my end to try to help him in this situation only because of the type of person that he is or that he actually portrayed to be uh, online as far as watching him on YouTube and all that. Okay, so let's start the intro. It's DJ Bandana Black, Mr. Well Connected, even more respected. Mr. Hashtag I Am Buffalo. If this is your first time on the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. If you watch this, uh, any of my other videos, if you heard me on radio, if you heard me in your city, maybe DJing in a club or something like that, you already know you tied in with the Bandana Fam. Heavy shouts out to the Bandana Fam. Okay, so the situation with uh, Omi and the Hellcat, I don't know how many of you guys actually uh, watched him or seen a video that he did yesterday. Um, the reason why I don't, I didn't put a clip of that video in this actual video to show you what he said is because I want you guys to go to his channel so he can get the views and so he can get the money off of that. It's all going to make sense when I explain to you um, what happened. So basically, this guy named Omi and the Hellcat, who you guys know Hellcat is my favorite car. It's my dream car. I got a Charger too, but I call it the Bellcat because it's like the stock edition. What ain't the stock edition? It's like the S... It's not the stock edition, but it ain't the Hellcat. So I'll call it the Bellcat. Well, anyways, he got a Hellcat, and that's what made me initially start following his channel. But this guy has been just so positive as far as, like, he even motivated me just watching the channel, just seeing some of the things that he was doing, interacting with his friend and stuff he was doing in the community and all that. And he honestly motivated me to really go hard with what I was doing as far as with on YouTube. But allegedly, um, he wasn't paying his taxes. They're trying to charge him with, like, tax evasion. Basically, like, you know how, like, in every hood, and actually, I well... I know people who have, like, you know how they have, like, the, um, people be like, yo, just pay me $40 a month, you can get all unlimited channels, I'm a jailbreak at Firestick, as long as you got Wi-Fi, we good. But basically saying he was running, like, one of those type of operations where he was, uh, selling, like, a, a streaming services that would get you, like, channels that you would usually pay more for, which, in this situation, like, honestly, on this channel, um, even when my own friends got locked up, you've never, ever heard me on this channel, on real life, on radio, anything, you've never, ever, ever heard me ever seriously say hey yo free this person free this person free that man um and i didn't know that the person was actually um innocent whatever even if it's my, my best friend if you get locked up and you did something wrong i mean i'm gonna try to help you out of the situation but if you, you take a risk and the outcome of it is you getting locked up or something like that then that's on you so i'm gonna help you out i'm gonna give you some bread get the phone on and stuff like that too but i just have a problem with saying um just free people for no reason for example when people say free kodak black free that man they do him wrong how they doing him wrong when he had several chances to not be locked up? He running around allegedly shooting at people. So you saying free him. What about the person if they did get killed or something like that? That's the reason why I can't just say free anybody. So I kind of went off on a tangent. But I say that to say this. Free Omi and the Hellcat, yo. <laughs> Honestly, like, they need to free Omi and the Hellcat. And he's not even locked up right now. I'm just saying that in general, just being funny. I'm not necessarily saying free him. But he did uh, say that he's probably going to do a couple years in jail um, behind the situation. The reason why I'm saying um, free him, and I don't mean that literally. I'm just saying I really hope he does get out of it. I mean, I do mean it, but hope he does get out of the situation because nobody got hurt. He wasn't selling drugs. He wasn't, like, uh, uh sex trafficking uh scheme or anything else like that too he was he found a loophole in a situation with um with streaming service like that and he made a profit off of it i mean these cable companies and streaming services do the same thing like they overcharging us by like th thousands of dollars throughout the year or throughout years uh for these services on like that too he just found a loophole and he got paid off of it and a lot of that money he did do a lot of positive things he employed a lot of people he empowered a lot of people and i honestly feel bad for him and it's just crazy because like on youtube yesterday i was watching um my man slim from tall guy car reviews that's like my probably my top three no slim is probably my favorite favorite youtuber because that's the person i was watching um from the beginning but i watched guys like slim and only the hellcat basically come from nothing and build up the empire for things just to get took it away well slim the tall guy car review his joint didn't get taken away i was watching on youtube he got a mclaren somebody smashed to his mclaren he had the hellcat somebody smashed into his hellcat but i mean he, he those, these type of people when you're that type of person you can build it back up so only the hellcat gonna be okay slim and them's gonna be okay and i just want to take the time to say this um although i was kind of like joking around with the whole get over here thing just kind of catch your attention or just with the little catchy uh thumbnail and stuff like that too um 
I want to help out. So only, I know you probably won't see this video, uh, but if anybody does know him or any of the people that walk with, with the bandana fan, maybe go in his comments, let him know that I want to help out. Um, so I, I know he was saying he's going to be doing some merch. So as soon as you do some merch, um, let me know only, or if you guys do know before me, as soon as he does some merch, let me know. I'm going to put the links in my videos. I'm going to promote that free of charge so he can try to build back up his empire. Because like I said, that's one of the guys who I definitely, definitely support and, um, and, and like. And I don't know whether he's going to, he's probably not the type of guy to do like a GoFundMe or something like that. But anything you got going on, like I said, I'm not a big, these lights is hot as hell. Like I'm sweating like crazy. But um, <laughs> I'm not a big YouTuber yet, so I can't send you like 10, 15,000 just off rip. Honestly, if I had it, on my daughter, if I had it, only in the Hellcat is the type of person who I would do that. Like that same day, what's your cash app? Boom. Just because he's a positive person. He gave away a lot of money. He motivated, he motivated people to lose weight. That has nothing to do with YouTube or cars or anything else like that too. Like he's just a all around good guy. It's a sad situation because he's basically saying that they took everything. Like he had Lamborghinis, Bentleys. Uh, did he have Rolls Royce? I, I'm pretty sure he had Rolls Royce. He had everything, like Corvettes, everything, a couple different houses, businesses, and all that. And I think the reason why they started coming in on him is the same reason why they started coming in on ARM. Not to say that they wouldn't have done it anyways. It's like when you start. I don't know the politically correct term. I'm just going to tell you the way that I can word it. When you start flaunting all this money, like, yeah, man, I'm about to just go buy this car. I'm going to go just buy this house. And you, you live around other people who might not be able to do the same thing. And they can't really figure out where that money's coming from. Um, they're going to get jealous, especially if you're black or brown skin. I know you guys like, don't make this a race thing. But honestly, I mean, if you are black or brown skin and you're kind of flaunting around the money and you, oh, I'm just going to buy this. Or I'm just going to do this. I'm going to give this way uh, money like that. And if you owe anything to the government, they're going to be looking at that as, as a way to, to kind, of, kind of take you down. Um, AR app situation was a little bit different because there was like some other charges that was like kind of serious in his situation but the same thing as you notice like things really started cracking down once you really started uh investing really that's what it is once you if you're not 100 percent legit do not announce that you invest in anything until you 100 percent invest into it and you're paying your taxes and everything is good until you want to up and up like honestly let that be a lesson you look at ar abby's yo we, this is what me and my homies gonna do we're gonna all put in buy this house buy this house buy this house only in the hellcat same thing we're gonna buy this club buy this buy, buy this and the government is looking at that like Nah, we can't, because that's long term. Like, yeah, they let you ball out for a couple of years. They just feel like we're just going to blow the money. But when you actually invest in something that's going to be worth something uh, going forward, they kind of want to take you down. But that's just my take on it. Um, I want to hear from you guys, hear from the Bandana fam. Uh, make sure you comment down below. Um, like I said, honestly, I do want to help them out. Like I said, I don't have 10, 15,000. I ain't got 10, 15,000 to my name right now. Just keep it in G with you guys right now. Um, but. <laughs> if I had ten to fifteen thousand uh, just to send to homie, I definitely uh, would do that. But the merch, I will be buying some of the merch. I don't know whether it's a T-shirt, hat, coffee mug, whatever it is. I do want to, um, I do want to help out. Um, and I will share those links with the Bandana Fam. Anybody else who do want to help out, I know a lot of people probably feel like, well, if you do the crime, you do the time. Yes, you do do the crime, you do do the time. And even in his blog, he said that he'll take full responsibility for it. He could have been like, yo, it's not just me. Like, I, you honestly think that he's the actual per? You know, we never look. He took the blame we're not even gonna get to detail he took the blame for everybody and he's basically saying I, I can respect that so nobody else would be um in trouble or whatever like that so i don't know it's just a crazy situation that really kind of messed up my day when i seen that last night like damn only and he was even if you look at his video after this video go watch his video only in the hellcat go to his channel watch his video um even in that video he was still positive. Like he was still like, yeah, I'm gonna get over this. And they took everything. You know, I'm gonna borrow a little bit of money from different people and I'm gonna work things out. Like when my check, like when they forget to put the overtime in my check, now I'd be damn near ready to to die to like go to jail, all that. For him to lose all that, like everything, and still be positive, that's that's um that's respectable. But it's DJ Bands in the black, Mr. Well Connected, even more respected, Mr. Hashtag I am Buffalo, I'm out. DJ Ben Ben Ben